Green Line Center. That's what I'm saying. It's really nice down here. You just have to come down the stairs. And they have a nice setup down here. Um, I haven't seen anywhere in Nepal that has this type of selection. It's really big, it's humongous in here. What do you think? It's a crazy selection. Yeah. That's what we are looking for. Most of the people, they don't have this type of selection, but he has a lot of setup, nice setup. Yeah. Even they have a person, meaning one person, I like person. Oh, yeah. Over here, all this part of the park. Over here, big, big. And also, he has all the wines over here. So yeah. I think he has a French wine too. So yeah. So you're going to check it out. Guys, there's too many bottles in here to even really focus on as there's so much going on. You guys got to check it out. Yeah. So you so you have anything in particular that you're looking for? French. French wine. Yeah. Um, 750 ml or the bigger bottle? Bigger. These are these are not the bigger bottles. These are the 750 mls. How you doing? My name is Jay. Your name? Do you guys have Italian wine? Italian wine? Yeah. She wants French. I, I like Italian. This is Italian. This is Italian. Awesome. And what about the French section? All right. See, it's a, right here. Boom. It's on the top of the ceiling. I see that. Okay, cool. And do you guys carry... um? Magnum 1.5 1.5 liter uh, do you have any left? none okay so so this the regular size 750 okay damn yeah you guys Remember, we tried them. You know, how much it cost? This one. Even this one. Cut it on. Show. Show.
All right. You choose what you like. What about the price ranges? What's what's the lowest? What's the low the low end to the high? Well, yeah. What's the what's the starting price? It's a high level. Right. The higher the higher the. This is right, low level. The top exactly. Yeah. That makes sense. See, this is top shelf. So starting is how much? Top shelf is going to be. How much? How much are we talking? Twenty-two thousand. Okay. Right. This is French. This is a. This is like. This is a really, really good, really good area of France, and just a great vintage. So now we're gonna go a little bit lower down here. So maybe we're talking something Bordeaux, right? 2017. So the prices are actually here. 1949. Okay. 15. So is this like the cheapest one that you have? That's the cheapest one. 15. Cote de Brody. 3,000. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think I think we might be better with Italy. Okay, let's go. So this is this is something I have never seen before back home, but we're talking twenty two sixty one. Let's see, Surya, eighteen oh six. Out of all the wines, no matter the country, what's the cheapest wine that you have? Yeah, cheapest. cheapest one. Eleven seventy. Okay. Pluvium, Spain. That's not bad. Um, that one is red one. Right. So you you want to get a white? Yeah. And it says eleven seventy. Okay, so we'll get both of these. Prosecco. Yeah. Prosecco. We'll take this one too. One. Yeah, one and one red one, pluvium. Okay. Yeah. What year is this? Non vintage? This is Prosecco. Seven, I don't know. Seven hundred. Yeah. Ortega. That's humongous. I think that's like three liters, three liters right? Yeah. Three, three liters. liters, wow. Okay, you don't have um, 750 ml? You have it? We have not. You have not? What about kava? This is champagne. 2924. Do you have any um, of the 1.5 liter in the Prosecco?
The cover. Spain cover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, only this cover. Right, how much is this one? This is 1871. You're better off getting this one. This is kava. Sparkling, sparkling. I think we'll just skip two and then we'll come back. in the cognac section, guys. Beautiful cognac selection and whiskeys. Nice. Well, I think. And then, can can is a Crown Royale? Some few products only uh, from the U.S. Yeah, this is very, this is like humongous, very popular in the U.S. They have so many different, different ones, Jim Beam. Okay. And also Jack you can Daniels. Also, from the U.S., right? Yeah, Jack yeah. Daniels. Oven. That's big time. Everybody Oven loves Jack Daniels. What is the, the, the reason name? Bourbon. What is that? Bourbon, like, it's whiskey, but they call bourbon. Like, all of these are bourbons. You why, know? why, why they call bourbon? This, I this think is from the region. It's from like this is Tennessee, oh. but I don't know why they why they call it bourbon. But they just call bourbon because I think to make it a little separated from Scott from Scotch, like whiskey Scotch is whiskey, but then bourbon is also whiskey. But so that they don't get confused, maybe with coming from Scotland, they call bourbon because it's from the U.S. Okay. I think that's personally what I think, but there's probably a long story behind they, it. We have uh, there is any bourbon place. What do you think in the U.S.? In the U.S., bourbon? Oh. All over, all over Tennessee, like all of these. Like from, from Louisiana, I believe. But I'm pretty sure Jack Daniels, this is just, it doesn't even say bourbon on it. But there is tons of bourbons. This bourbon. Yeah? This bourbon. This bourbon. This bourbon. There's so many, there's so many. You know what I just, I just heard of? That's bourbon that I just saw who just started his own. Yeah. Bradshaw bourbon. Yes. Yeah, bourbon. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, the, there's so many though. If you go, if you go down, down south in the U.S., you, you can see like small, small companies. Okay. Not even they won't even come over here. Like these are the big companies. Yeah. I think Gentleman Jack is another Gentleman one. Gentleman Jack also. Yeah. The, 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 the jelly product. Okay. Yeah. Gentleman Jack, and we have. a this is the way we will get honey also. Fire. Yeah, oh yeah. Dairy fire honey. Yeah. Uh, now, but most of the most of the Nepali um, whiskey, they use Scottish malts. 
So they import the dry malt and then they and then they they produce the scotch here oh, in the malt. Like, like like you can you can have a look uh, this one. Yeah. But none of the companies are actually growing the malts here. I don't think, except for maybe Himalayan Reserve. I think this one, no. This one is definitely yeah, this one. Yeah. The malt is imported from the Scotch. Yeah. Island, I think. Yeah. Also this one. This one uh, expensive than uh, imported. Yeah. This is the domestic product, but uh, right. Okay. This one tastes. This one tastes good. I haven't. I haven't had this so twelve, 12 years. years. I've only had the black one before. It's new, new edition actually. Yeah. This one, I think they maybe they're also importing it too. I'm not sure. Yeah. This is Scotch malts. I'm still. I'm looking for one that they grow their own malts here, but I think that I think there's none. There's none that actually grows the the grain. The, and then makes it, you know what I mean? Yeah. All of them, they're importing the, the, the scotch malts and then making it. But this one, Bambi Club too. This is another one. All right, cool. Thanks a lot. What's your name? My name is Jay. Jay. Nice to meet you. Jay. No problem. Nice to meet you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Jalissa has the bag in her hand. Yeah. I want this right here. This is a heaven for the people who want to drink. You should come over here because he has lots of collection and the owner is very good and the, all the worker is very good over here. Yeah. You should come visit over here. This place is called Green Line. Yeah, and you can see they got a green line coming down the staircase. Yeah, yeah lots of selection. Will you please hold this? Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Oh, man. Oh, Nick. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. So you come out right here. 